Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data as far as what coaches want. And also, if, you can, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll start doing weekly YouTube clinics for free. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. Uh, practice planning. The four most important components of our practice include uh, ICBNT, which is our warm-ups, old school isometrics, calisthenics, blocking and tackling. We're going to block and tackle every single day in warm-up, which is two periods for us in the morning and one in the afternoon. Um, athletic period, we're going to do sled and cage. We do it from fall camp week one all the way through the end of the season until we're done. We're going to hit the five-man sled. We're going to hit the cage. We're going to make sure that we're doing things that keep us physical. Uh, Pre-practice is important to us. It gives freedom amongst players that are not involved in special teams, time to go work on specific um, skills, uh, and then practice, trap sweep team. When you come to our practice, you're going to see us do trap sweep team. 15 minutes of trap, 15 minutes of sweep, usually 15 minutes of team to 20 and five minutes of jet sweep. That's it. It's not going to vary. Our traps are going to be in the same sequence, sweeps, same sequence of plays. We'll just flip our sweeps and we'll flip our – strengths and we'll flip the defenses from defense a b and c let me take you through some icbnt warm up we we, we um personnel our warm-up groups if we for instance say i've got four offensive coaches and four defensive coaches we start fall camp through all the way through the year we're going to personnel those groups and so i will take eight to ten players that are on my position the strong side coach will take eight to ten players and hit every every coach has 10 to 12 players in their warm-up groups is what we call it. If, if a guy's a primary defensive player and he's a linebacker, he goes with a linebacker coach. They warm up with the same groups every day. Uh, when we do warm-ups, then, then, of course, we're in four lines. Uh, we're in such a line that your, your right toes behind the guy's right heel in front of you. If we were to shoot an arrow, we'd knock all four of you out at once. But uh, when we start, we're going to start out with our, our – our starts, you know, we'll do starts and stance. We're going to get in our four point stance every day. And I'll talk about that later on in this slide where it's three, three quarter speed to full speed. So we, we go from the sideline out. So we do bottom of the numbers to the hash. Um, we use sometimes the sideline as our line of scrimmage to the numbers. Uh, we just decide what grass we've worn out and where we need to be, but it's in the same area and we're working in the same spot every single day, not only in the AM, but in the PM. So, you know, we'll clap it up. We'll say ready, score. And then we'll three-quarter speed starts coming on the field, full speed coming back. We'll do high knee rhythm run. We want to remind our players you run with your arms, not your legs. It's all about the synchronization of your, your right arm and your left leg. And uh, really running is about making sure your shoulders moving. So we're going to activate our L's is what we call them. We're going to take our hands front to back. We want to make sure our kids know how to run, not just tell them, to, not just tell them high knees. We're going to do it right. And then, of course, we're going to do seat rolls. We're going to do old school seat rolling and forward roll, get up, get the blood pump and elbows to nose, and, and that puts you back off the field. And then we'll go to calisthenics, which is some stretching. You know, we'll do some real quick. You know, you, we, we try not to do too much, you know, static stretch. It's more dynamic, but we will do right over left, left over right and A gap. We'll do some push-ups and sit-ups, and then we'll work isometric neck exercises every day. You know, for us, to me, the two things that will help you with the C word, which is – I don't like to say it. Concussion is a great mouthpiece that fits properly, and we buy ones that are approved by the American Dental Association as well as exercising your neck because your neck, of course, and your jaws are your shock absorbers for that brain that lays up in there. So we're going to stretch our front, our back, and our side of our neck, right ear hole, left ear hole every day, routine, and then we're going to get in our blocking and tackling. That's kind of the meat of what we're talking about here. Our blocking and tackling is called shock which is we're going to get in a four-point stance and we're going to extend out uh, one by one like rapid fire. The coach will go down through there and he'll give a, a snap count and he'll shot out and the next one will shot out and the next one will shot out. Well, the next time he comes back through, it's shot and follow. So now it's engage. You know, we're going to landmark for that, that belt buckle or that belly button and we're going to fit our thumbs up and put our screws of our helmet on his belt buckle and we're going to drive it. And that means follow. We're going to keep our feet wide, chop them, and uh, move on through there. And I'll, I'll explain some of these more in detail here in a minute. So then we'll do an angle block, which is AKA down block. And then we'll do a scramble block, which is AKA hook block. While we're doing 
the scramble block and the rest of that warm up, the defense, they can go work down there and work on tackling like leverage and cutback and guns and where to place their hands and grab cloth and extend knees. We want to do things in our warm up ICB and T that players are going to have to do during the game, like blocking and tackling. We're not going to do anything that's a skill that's not a skill. We don't want a silly drill that's not a skill. And so it's it's primarily just skill. Once we do, for instance, it takes less than three minutes to do three-quarter speed, full speed, high knee seat rows. We'll stretch a second, push up, set up, do our neck exercises, and then we get right into blocking and tackling. And we feel like that's what's made us more physical because we do it every day. You say, okay, in the afternoon, once you've had pre-practice, we don't do the first half of ICBNT because they're already out there and they're warm. We go right into the second half, which is the blocking and tackling. And again, you email call, I can send you more information on that as far as our definitions of how we block. Not to say that we do it right, just how we've done it here. Our trap drill. Full team, defense is using shields. We're still live, but shields. No lie, you know, it's we're going fast and all, but we're not going on the ground, and certainly they're not tackling us. Um, we huddle on the first trap. After that, we do not huddle. We want to. We want multiple reps, up tempo, hustle is emphasized. We don't. We've never ran after practice unless you piss us off. You know, excuse me for you know you've done something. The locker room's not been taken care of. Bus wasn't taken care of, or. You, you hadn't been acting right, we, we will condition a little bit. We'll opportunity to improve that. Uh, we'll never discipline you. We're going to find ways to improve your, your behavior. But um, we're going to hustle and practice. We ain't got to run afterwards. Coach on the run, I, don't stop 11 to talk to one player. You better not. It coach on the run. The strong side coach watches his strong side. The quick side coach watches the quick side. The swing man coach, he sits the defenses and watches the fake. This ain't pretty. This is this is a little bit of video, and I'll I'll talk through some of it here. So this is our treat uh, trap drill. Can't really tell here, but uh, looks like we got a little even front with three linebackers and one high. All right. I mean, I just press it and play. I'll just let it go. Number twos, you better get up there. As soon as that ball crosses the line of scrimmage, you should be up there. Now ones, get up there. Here you go. You're running the other trap. Twos, get up there. Balls is cross line of scrimmage. Your turn. Go. Ones, get up there. It'd be your turn. I'll run it again. I'm going to stop it. There's my quick side coach. He's only watching the quick side players. There's my strong side coach. He's watching the strong side execution. Defensive back coach is over here because he's got some players there, but that's my running back coach. He sits the D and he's watching fakes. If somebody's not if somebody's showing us that they don't have the football, he's on them. And then I'm back here. We're coaching on the run. They know the plays because we run the same series. We run four traps. We run them in that order versus defense A, versus defense B, versus defense C. All I'm showing you video of right now is a three and a one and a five. Got a nine. We're in a wide sit over here. We got a nine over here. But anyhow – that defense will change when we go left set, when we put the strong side on the left side. Defense A, B, C, so you're going to be in defense A for four, defense B for four, defense A for four. Rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. Go, 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 go. That's the second group right there, and here comes the ones. Get set, and let's go. That's twos. Ones. No, it never as good as you want on video, but we this video was taken. We we video every uh Tuesday PM because we come in on Wednesday mornings and watch the AM. The O line meets together, they watch it in the morning and backs will stay afterwards. Uh the athletic period for a second and watch their fakes. And uh, if it's not to our standard, well then they go with some after practice. But we do video practice once a week. And we do watch it with our kids. Um, don't video it and not watch it. Or don't video it and you not watch it. Uh, if you're not going to watch it, don't video it. Um, you want to be good, you got to find time to do it. Sweet drill, same thing. Same concepts as trap. Full team, coach on the run, block shields and dummies. Speed, must run at game speed, multiple reps and condition. 
trap sweep continued. Um, we will run 12 traps in the first offense, 12 with the seconds. Offense will do it repeat as many times as possible in 15 minutes. Same order of plays and traps and sweeps. That sequence never changes. Four from the right, four from the left, four from the right again, like this thought we talked about. Change your defensive front every series. And that's how that's how, that's how you get the uh, of course the number of plays that you want. But um when you look at our practice, traps, sweeps, team. Um but again, there's a lot more that goes into that. I'm just trying to give you an idea of, uh, uh, of you know, what, what we were doing and what, how we did it and, and uh, how to go about it. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do free YouTube clinics. And you also get notified when I'm doing those YouTube clinics and when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches. Thank <laughs> you.